Hello YouTube, my name is Matthew Kosalski from Manostech and today I'm going to show you how to make a portfolio or how to make a website with images, how to link them, how to do all this hover effect stuff. So let's get started. So I'm just going to make a new HTML document by coding out the, oh, that was a fail. HTML, if you don't know this, you can watch my uh, second, my first tutorial title, let's just portfolio. I'm going to link the style sheet using link rel style sheet href style css. Alright, and then we're going to start the body. Close the body, and then we're going to make a container div id equals div class. I like using class for containers because the class contains more than one object, more than one element, variable. Tag, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, so I'm just gonna state um, uh, these little things here. This green, these green things are called comments. They just, they're just personal preference. I like to have them, and I'm gonna call this index.html. Save to my desktop for easy access. And then I'm just gonna do the basic CSS reset here. All right, now margin zero. Oh. Margin zero, pad, padding zero. Then I'm gonna do body, font, family. Let's do my favorite one, Helvetica. New. <laughs> and then if the web browser, if the user doesn't have that installed, it goes to Helvetica. And if they don't have that installed, it goes to Arial. So no Times New Roman crap. Background. Background color. I'm going to do a nice smoked grit white. F8, F8, F8. That's the hex code value. Now I'm just going to make sure all the links have no underlines. Li is display in line and list style is none. So that's basically reset, reset. See, that's reset. I'm going to show you how to center an image. This is how you get an image to appear on the in the web browser in the HTML document, you're going to type in ing src equals um, coffee.png, which in my case the image is coffee.png. And then if we refresh, it shall appear right there. Now, let's say if it's in a folder for image, I don't have the name I like that. Now, if I just edit this, so there we go. But it's an image folder, so it's an image folder. Now this is how you get it to work. You go to period slash img slash. So it's a folder in the same directory in the folder of the image. And if we refresh, it should be there. There it is. Now today I'm going to show you how to center an image. And I just recently found this out. But if you want to center an image, I'm just going to do image right here, which is the image tag. Um, I'm going to do display block. Margin auto margin margin <laughs> right auto can't believe that happened so this play block margin left auto margin right auto centers an image I like that zoom in and out works so that's how you center an image now let's say we don't like it on the top of the website like we want it down more so I'm just going to margin Top, let's say 50 pixels. So it's uh, let's do like 150 pixels. There, better. All right. Now let's say if you want to hover, if you want to hover over it, you want it to give it like a fade effect. What you are going to do is you go to image, colon hover, and do opacity 0.5. See if we. It fades, but it's fast and there's like really no ease. So we're gonna add an ease effect. Okay, if we add that to that, refresh, it fades when you hover. But it doesn't fade, it doesn't fade back out when you when you're done hovering. So you're gonna add it to the image itself. So if we do that, it's going to and you can just pause the video to get the code, I'm not gonna pause for you. Alright, so that's how to give effect to an image. What happens if we want to link the image? What you're gonna do is you do this. Let me try ahref equals http colon slash www google.com. So doing google.com here. 
So that's href. We're gonna end it. We're not gonna end it yet. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it does. Be very embarrassing if it doesn't. I have to do a jump cut. And it opens a Google. But what happens if you want it to want it to open a new tab? Space, target, and you do blank. That. So if we click on it, opens a new tab. So that's how. And we can we can also add borders. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So you do a border, one. Let's see, three pixels. Solid and hex code of FFFF to a gray one, so you can see it. Like I don't like it. I don't like that color, but this is so you can see it. Well, it gives you like an FF. Let's do a better one. Orange border. Ugh, I hate the look of that. But if you want to make it bigger, you could always do more pixels like that, and we could also do. Rounded, we can do border dash radius. So, if you want to do this, works also for a lot of things too. It gives the image round corners. You can also do like 15. Let's say we want to add a background, we could add it to background FFF and we do padding five pixels, which allows the background to show up. And then we can do like a border one pixel, one pixel solid. And then CCC, I'll get a nice gray. I'm going to show you how to add more images. So I'm just going to grab another image here and then oh yeah, paste it in the folder. Probably be a good decision to make. So we're going to copy this. Not worry about the link right now. Paste it and this changes to iMac. We have two images. Well, this is if you want to, what happens if you want them like side to side? We have three images, and they're all having the same style because they're all images. Um, we could also, I'm going to show you right now, but I have to go, get, don't like, yeah, so like, I'm going to show you how to make them in a row. Alright, so now if you want to, you could also change the images width and height without going in editing in Photoshop, let's do like that. I had to go copy my width and height so they look correctly, but all you have to do is go to Photoshop and crop them, and they'll be fine. So that's like how it is on my website. You see, they got really small. And now, right now, I'm going to show you how to make them into a row. So they're originally like this in a column, which all this is. And right now, I'm going to show you how to make them in a row. So to do this, it so see where it says display block, you're going to change this to inline. And then, bam, they go like that. But again, they're on the side because I deleted the container. And right here, this is this is a container. And to make them like in the center, we will make everything center, just do container, period, for all, all classes are periods, and that is not correct. That is not correct either, what's wrong with me? There we go. We do width, always, width always goes first. We're gonna do like, let's see, 960 pixels. About, that's about right. So, like, normal website height, auto, because it's not really determined. Margin, margin again. What's wrong with me today? Mar right auto, the center of everything. And if we do that, bam! But they are too close together, and this is when margin comes in. So to get them apart from each other, as you can see here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to margin, type in 0, 10, 0, 0, and you can play around with these, like if you go to inspect element. So you're going to grab the image and then you can go over here to margin, you can play around with this. If you have Chrome, you can do this, like we can go all the way top, let's add about, uh, what's that like? 173 right there. Then this is separates the like how far apart they are. But if you go too far like that, I'll cut off because the container isn't long enough. And then we do like this, which I don't really it doesn't do anything. And that does that. So, and then when you're satisfied with your result, just Command C, and then we'll go to here, Command V, Command S. Command R, and there you go. You have yourself a working portfolio, and then you could like duplicate it.
like this. Well, not like that, but like this. And I'll show you. This is like a six. This is like a six row, like six. But you can see here they're really far apart. And let's say we don't like that, so we do inspect element again. Or if you don't, if you have Firefox, unfortunately, you will have to like do some other find some other way. And this, I just this is, this is the this is how you separate them. So like you go like this. Let's just make um 24. Let's make them like 35, like 50. So that's 50, 24, 0, 0 when you're satisfied. Command C. And if you if you like have Firefox and you don't have like inspect element on Google Chrome, you could always memorize where they are. And then let's say we want this whole thing to be down because we're going to add a title here. So like someone's portfolio. What you're going to do is you're going to do like, I think this is the one, like 140. I'm not for sure. Oh, it's definitely not it. Uh, margin, oh, here it is. Uh, let's try 500. Okay, that doesn't work. I should delete that part now. But you can use container, margin, top, margin. There's multiple ways of doing this. Multiple ways. Margin top, and we're going to do like 160, which moves the whole container down like that. And then we could add a title. Like inside the container, we could add like a like header one, like Matt's tutorial. We can make tutorial bold if we want. And then you could do. Header one, text align center, padding, padding top. Well, it depends what, what personal preference you like, but I'm going to use padding top, which moves it top from the bottom. You can use the margin top, but I'll, I'll try margin top, see what it looks like. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Big time. Margin top, we do like 40 pixels. Color, we could do like. Um, I believe that's I believe that's a F C C O. I don't know what that is. Nothing. And if it's if it's bold, because all headers are bold automatically, you could just do font, weight, and normal. No, again, I was interrupted. So this is your website. <laughs> your little portfolio. If you have any comments, questions, just leave them down below. I'll be glad to answer them. If you have any tutorial requests for HTML, just leave them down and 